Hey, what is up guys? This is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest dirt face drum and this is the unofficial build based on Android 10. This is the 23rd November 2019 build on this device. So let's begin. First let's talk about the flashing. The things you need to keep in mind to flash this ROM is you just have the latest like Android Pi firmware and you have the like Android Pi firmware supported reliability recovery. So that's the two things you have to keep in mind. Just make sure you have a decrypted storage. For that you need to format the storage once if you are coming from UI and you have the latest firmware and you have the Pi firmware supported reliability recovery. That's it. All the links will be listed in the description box below and if you don't know and if you have no idea what I am talking about here is a card for you. To the settings panel over here we have the about phone section and in the android version we have the dirt faced logo up top and the android version is of course 10 here and the security patch is latest november 5th 2019 here is the build date 23rd november 2019 android 10 beta unofficial build and the stock kernel is perf plus kernel let's go back in the system panel we have a aos ip updater here with just like kind of four stops here as you can see so yeah that's how it is with the updater the system updater and if you go to the gestures we have this skip music track option if you are using it for some reason you can use that and then there is the gesture navigation over here the android 10 gestures over here i'm using and it is working fine and the normal like jump to camera and prevent ringing option let me go back and if you want customizations here is the dark quest option here you will find all the customizations you will need so in the status bar section inside st like status bar option we have the headset vault icon hotspot etc options so a lot of options are present over here you can enable if you want to and by the way vault is working fine but there is no call recording option as by default here and now we have the network traffic activity option then we have the show clock and date option then you can choose the clock style to left or center as you can see you can enable am pm style if you want you can like increase the font size and you have the font style option too so a lot of fonts option are there then there is the date option if you want to enable it you can do that then there is battery percentage i have been using this field circle this is the new one so and you can use the next to the icon and stuff percentage for the battery and battery percentage when charging is enabled and in the quick settings panel we have the status bar like pull down option you can choose it to be right left or anywhere then we have the vibrate on toggle touch then we also have the brightness slider and stuff then let's move on we have the battery percentage on the quick settings panel then clock option is there and custom header image option is there if you're gonna use that in the button section we have the screen of power button torch let's check if it's actually working so yeah it is working fine as you can see and now let me sh quickly show you like the fingerprint scanner speed here it's not bad at all it is quite fast as you can see so the fingerprint scanner speed i have no complaints over here it is quite fast now in the navigation bar we have the navigation bar enabling option and inverting layout so if you are someone who is using the on-screen nav bar this is gonna be helpful in the gesture settings there is status bar double tap to sleep lock screen double tap to sleep and three finger screenshot gesture well double tap to sleep on the status bar is working fine here no issues and let me show you if the double tap to wake works so yeah as you can see the double tap to wake did work and the three finger screenshot gesture is there and it is working fine here as you can see let's just delete the screenshot let's go back in the lock screen we have the fingerprint authentication vibration then there is media cover art and also we have this kind of music visualizer and stuff but there is no like always unlock with fingerprint scanner as of right now in this rom in the power menu we have the advanced restart option and let me show you how do the power menu look like this is how it looks so there is no advanced reboot over here but like once you tap inside reboot you will find the advanced rebooting option directly rebooting to recovery or fast boot or even rebooting the system ui and normally system in the notification panel we have the in call vibration options so we have the vibrate on connect call then call waiting etc and then we have the notification and battery charging light option and charging animation is there so you can enable it if you want to i think this is the like pixel like animation over here and in the miscellaneous settings we have the wake up on charge disabling option so that's it regarding the customization let's switch to the battery settings 
here is how it looks like we have the lock screen charging info here then we have the adaptive battery option over here the stock android kind of adaptive battery and there is battery saver too if you are gonna use that and the battery life over here should be pretty decent i would say it's gonna give you about six plus hours of screen on time without any issues in terms of display settings we have the night light option over here as you can see let me go back we have the styles and wallpapers and from here you can customize the whole theme or ui then we have the screen timeout and auto rotate screen option is there inside lock screen display we do get this new notification like ambient display and stuff if you're gonna use that and we have game driver preference and there is dark theme mode if you are gonna use the dark theme yes this option is there and there is device like accent color as you can see lot of accent colors options are present we have the red indigo orchid purple q green violet yellow etc options so a lot of color options for the accent color now let's switch to the body font there are a lot of like body fonts too we have the google sans and like sans pro and stuff so a lot of uh, font option you can get you even get a lg font and in terms of icon shape we have the teardrop square kill rounded rectangle now let's switch to the sound settings here you have the screenshots or the sound disabling option then charging vibration charging like sound and stuff then touch sound etc you can disable it but there is no me audio direct that like i do not see that audio direct over here now that is all regarding the settings panel now let me show you the stock launcher over here so this is the pixel launcher by default present on this rom and to the left we have the google now cards then we can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the quick settings panel and this is how the quick settings panel looks like with the quick toggles and you can add bunch of toggles from here as you can see we have a lot of quick toggle options over here which you can add from here now let me switch to the like home screen here is how it looks like the home screen and like again there is no double tap to sleep and stuff anywhere on the home screen so that's a bummer but yeah the stock camera here is a snapdragon camera the old one so it's not that great and i could install this gcam i'll link it below if you guys need it and this gcam is working fine this is the like gcam 7 over here i don't know why the settings panel does not appear right now but as you can see right now it is appearing over here so this gcam is working fine even with like portrait mode and even night sight and even the videos should be working fine with this gcam so no issues with the gcam 7 it is working fine here we have the recorder option by default and by the way if you're flashing this rom you don't need to flash any other separate g apps or something because this rom zip file already includes the g app so you don't need any like separate files to flash you just need to flash the only rom file this recorder app is working fine as you can see the google recorder is like transcripting the text really good from the audio and it is working great so big thumbs up from me that it is there for the redmi note 5 pro and with the led rgb remote app i have tested the ir blaster present on the device and the ir blaster is working fine too but the google pay does not work at least by default like right out of the box but you can get it to work by disabling phone and sms app permission from the google play services then set up your google pay now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app open up speeds and the ram management over here let's open this facebook app now let's open twitter play store youtube instagram now let's open like the recorder let's open this rgb remote app too now let's open all the apps from memory again yes the animations feel a little bit choppy because i'm coming from devices like redmi note 7 pro and the k20 pro and stuff but otherwise i would say the ram management is good most of the apps like stays in memory as you can see all the apps are staying in memory no apps have been removed from memory but the animations is a tad bit choppy if you compare it with the like redmi note 7 pro and k20 pro so yeah that's how it is but it is great that this is handling the animations or at least it is trying so the conclusion will be the animations are a bit choppy but the apps do stay in memory as you can see and you can switch between apps like this of course and this is working fine and by the way this is the rom file itself and here you can see that the like rom file itself is about 1.34 gb because it includes the g apps again so yeah that is it 
Now let's quickly open PUBG and in the meantime, here is the Android score of this ROM. Another thing that is missing over here quickly, I would say, is the status bar like brightness control gesture. So that thing I could not find here and this option is like totally missing. As you can see, if I try to do this, it does not increase or decrease the brightness. So yeah. Now in terms of PUBG, let me show you the graphic settings again. We get only smooth and medium. So this is not great. So for gaming, I won't quite recommend you flashing this ROM. If you are a gamer, do skip this ROM. And if you want to really use this ROM, make sure you are flashing some like different kernels. I am not sure what kernel I should suggest you because I am not a like custom kernel user and something. I do not flash custom kernels, but you can like research and try whatever kernels you are okay with. And this is the stock wallpaper again, says dirt face, pretty cool art right there. And in the styles and wallpapers, let me show you if you go here and scroll down, we have this like geometric shapes, keep looking and stuff. Then we have the live wallpapers and here, there are a lot of options for the live wallpapers. You can choose this compass and stuff. This should work pretty well. Let me show you as you can see. These are pretty cool wallpapers. But if you set these, the UI kind of lags. So that's one kind of thing. But yeah, if you want live wallpapers, yes, they are there. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there. If you have not yet, this is Tito from KD Index signing off for today. And do share this video out with your friends if you want them to know about this ROM on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So that's been it. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.